it's the option where we give you our picks for the week. It is the option for NFL Week 6. We are a third of the way through the season. Damn, this season's flying by fast. But there's still time to play along with us. Join our CBS Pick'em League entitled The Option 2024. Click the link in bio in our socials and follow along. Play along with us and you, yes you, can win the bragging rights. The lovely Rita Sanchez is still in first place. We have a three-way tie in second place between you, me, and Danny Butler. That guy. So, Danny took home the week last week. Congratulations again to Danny. So that's two in a row. Let's see if we can kind of cool him off a little bit because he's on fire. Here we go. Sky. This guy. Fucking hell. Thursday night. Amazon Prime. The 2-3 and three San Francisco 49ers go into Lumen Field to take on the 3-2 and two Seattle Seahawks. Hmm. I am going with the Seahawks. Same. Niners Lumen are beating the shit. Huh? Niners Lumen are beating the shit. And now they lost their kicker. Moody's hurt. So we'll what see what Lumen the... Lumen do? Yeah. What is Lumen? What do they do? What is that? I don't know. It sounds a, like a foot cream. Well, that's Lumi. It's the whole body deodorant. That's very close. <laughs> very close. Uh, it sounds like some <laughs> power company or some shit. I don't know. Bottom line is this. The Seahawks are a little bit less banged up than the San Francisco 49ers. Surprise, surprise. Kyle Shanahan's team is hurt. Mm. Shot. Oh, Sunday, yeah. Sunday, Sunday. 9.30 a.m. Live from London. London. The Jacksonville Jaguars at one and four. Crazy they got their win. Good job. Good call on that. Take on the three and two nominal home team, the Chicago Bears. I am taking the Bears. Yeah. I have to take the Bears as well. The Jaguars, they're still not good. Sorry, the Jaguars still not good. No, they're still not. Still no good. Still no good. And the Bears' defense is better than what we're giving credit for. And Caleb Williams is rounding into form. Right? He's 3-2 and two on the season. He is. So. I think he has consecutive games where he's thrown for over 300 yards. So he's starting to figure it out. He's starting to get that. It's not, a, it's not a complicated game. No. And, um, you know, it's not. It's it's not hard, right, Wash? It's incredibly hard. It's incredibly hard. <laughs> Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, 1 p.m., potentially the game of the week. The 4-1 Washington Commanders go into M&T Bank Stadium to take on the 3-2 Baltimore Ravens. Ah, oh, man, I'm taking the Ravens in this one. Give me the commies. I'll take the commies oh, going on the road and lower the your mood. Guy. So I like, I like both rushing games. I think Jaden Daniels makes fewer mistakes than Lamar Jackson. The 2-3 and three Arizona Cardinals come east. To Green Bay to take on the three and two Green Bay Packers. I'm going with the Pack. Go Pack, go! Although the Cardinals look better, the Cardinals are getting there. But when your division opponents are constantly getting hurt, it's that one eye thing again. In the land of the blind, the one eyed bird is king. But the Packers are a better team. The 4-1 Houston Texans go into Foxborough to take on Drake May and the 1-4 New England Patriots. Texans. Take up that Texan D. CBS Sports has a 2% chance that the Patriots win. Two. 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 I'll stick with the Texans. 98% win probability for them. The three and two Tampa Bay Buccaneers go into the Big Easy to take on the two and three New Orleans Saints, probably without Derek Carr, who is out with it's an oblique injury. Derek Carr. He is oblique. Derek Carr. Their season's Derek oblique. Carr. <laughs> hey, unbelievable. I'm going with the Bucks. You gotta. You absolutely have to. Because you're going to start Spencer Rattler 
against that Ooh. defense. Exactly. And you pointed out to me, I was like, are they going to start Taysom Hill? He's got two broken ribs. So, you know, Psych. your second best quarterback can't even play. <laughs> so you're up to Spencer Rattler. Man, they're missing. How could you trade my best player without asking me? I didn't sell him outright. I got you to outfield. <laughs> Man, they're missing Jameis Winston down there, aren't they? <laughs> like they probably, if Jameis is there, they probably win this game. They probably do. But, alas, he's in Cleveland. And speaking of Cleveland, the 1-4 and four Browns go into Philly to take on the 2-2 two and two Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. This is the week he gets benched, right? This is the week that Deshaun Watson gets benched. You, you figure. Law of averages indicates that that's what's going to happen. Ugh. The 2-3 and three Indianapolis Colts go into Tennessee to take on the 1-3 and three Titans. I'm taking the Titans. Let's go. Let's go. We figured it out during the bye week. We're going to get things turned around here. We're going to start throwing to the players on our team. And we're we're going to take the ball out of our quarterback's hand. So who is it? Is it Levis or is it Rudolph? The fact that I have to ask this. Oh, Christ. No. <laughs> no. They. How can you go back to Will Levis after putting in Mason fucking Rudolph? It's not like you put in Joe Flacco. It's not like you put in Jameis Winston. Oh, my God. How many teams wish they had Joe Flacco right now? Probably 16. Pro- probably he 16. He can throw it. He can throw it. He can throw it. He can throw it. Now, the question is, are they going to be able to run it on the Titans' defense? I think they can. Yeah, I, think, you know, I think they'll be all so right. I pick the Titans. I think the like, Titans' defense is going to give Joe a hard time. They've had two weeks to prepare for this, so let's see what they come up with. I'm going to go with the Colts. You know, talent eventually wins out. And if they're going with Will Levis... not going to play, right? Is Richardson going to play? Mm. I don't think he's going to play. No, no, it's Flacco. Even though the it even is. though they said it's Richardson's job when he gets back. You sure about that? You sure about that? Right? You haven't had a good run of luck there with... Oh, there I mentioned it, since Andrew Luck. So there you go. Uh, now I'm taking the Colts. I think they're just better. And Mason Rudolph will again see the field. For all you grill masters, green thumbers, DIY aficionados, and home repair heroes in the Richmond, Virginia area, if you're looking for personal service quality products and a convenient shopping experience, then look no farther than Thacker Ace Hardware in Colonial Heights. Owner Don Rackley and his team of local experts have everything you need to tackle every project around the house. I'm talking Benjamin Moore paint, Milwaukee and Craftsman power tools, Plumbing, electric, hardware, the works. For you green thumbers, their nursery department is top notch. And I wouldn't be me if I didn't mention the grills. They have Weber, Blackstone, Big Green Egg, Traeger. I want one of everything. Give them a call today at 804 766 4223 and see how they can assist you. Or swing by 27 Dunlop Village in Colonial Heights. That's Thacker Ace Hardware, 804-766-4223, or swing by 27 Dunlop Village in Colonial Heights. Thacker Ace is the place with the helpful hardware folks. We're in the 4 o'clock hour. The 2-2 two and two Chargers go into the mile high to take on the surprising 3-2 and two Denver Broncos. I think it's actually going to be a good game. You were saying you were looking forward to the Bills and the Jets game. I think this is going to be a good game because this is going to show you a bet. I bet Harbaugh comes out with a good game plan for attacking the Broncos and scoring on the Broncos. Watch, watch, because he's a good coach. So I'm going, I'm going with the Chargers in this one. I'm going to take the Broncos. Even without their best defensive player, they're still pretty decent. They're still pretty stout on that side of the ball. All you're going to ask of Bo Nix is to not fuck it up. And he's shown that he he's okay. Like he he's decent at not fucking it up. So, we'll see what happens. I'm expecting Javante Williams to do some things. How, how about that? Let, let, let's see Javante Williams show up on Sunday. Give me the Broncos. The 3-2 and two Pittsburgh Steelers off a gut-wrenching loss against the Cowboys go into Vegas to take on the 2-3 and three Las Vegas Raiders. I like the Steelers, man. I know they had they lost last week, but I, I like them. I like what they got going on. I like the Steelers too, particularly against the shit that is the Raiders. 
Is it Minshew? Is it O'Connell? Does it matter? Probably not. I heard Wilson gets the practice this week. Good for him. Good job, Russ. Absolutely. Is he trade bait at some point? You figure? You think? Oh, I mean, if you're smart, I would try to move him to Miami. Yeah. I don't even need much for him. Miami, New Orleans. Obliques take a while. New Orleans. Yeah. I've, uh, yeah, it takes a long time. Yeah, I'd say so. They should. Yeah. They don't need him. Fields has that job. Field, let, let Fields, let him ride. Let's ride. The 3-2 and two Atlanta Falcons go into Charlotte to take on the 1-4 and four Carolina Panthers. I am taking the Falcons. Yeah. The Andy Dalton train, the Andrew Dalton train, oh, it's over. It's over, Johnny. That was bad. That was so bad. It's over, Johnny. It's over. Give me the Falcons. And they're... Don't look now. They're going to wrestle this division away from the Buccaneers if they're not careful. The 3-1 and one Lions go into Jerry World to take on the 3-2 and two Dallas Cowboys. Lions. Roar. I am taking the Lions as well. They're a better team. They have a better defense. What more can you say? In your Sunday night special, the one and four Bengals come to MetLife to take on the two and three New York football giants. The G-Men. I got the Giants taking out the one and four Bengals because the Bengals are trashed. Same. We both have the Giants here. Now, probably for different reasons, I think that that defense plays. They figured out between CeeDee Lamb torching them and DK Metcalf not really getting off. They figured out, hey, we need to give our we need to give our corner safety help. We gotta do something here. Now, you got Chase, you got Higgins. If you can slow them down, that run defense is stout. You got big decks in the middle. Brian Burns is showing up. Kayvon Thibodeau. They are proving that their front seven can get to the quarterback and they can stop the run. Secondary is the weak part. Can Deontay Banks live up to the hype? Newbin had a great game on Sunday. So let's see. Adore Jackson was there. Adore Jackson was there. He actually played. So let's see if they can keep going. And if Joe, let's see if uh, Daniel Jones, I should say, keeps going in the right direction because he's had a he's trending upward and the Bengals defense is not that good and your Monday night delight the three and two Buffalo Bills go into MetLife to take on the two and three Jeff Ulbrich led (laughs) New York Jets J-E-T-S Jets 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 you're loving this I gotta take the Bills it's an unmitigated shitstorm. I mean, this is gonna be awesome. So, from a from a rubbernecking standpoint, from a you know just a car wreck, I'm just looking at it, just wondering what the fuck is going on. It it piques my curiosity. The bills are way better. The bills are way better. So, even though the defense, I'm sure, is gonna come to play. I don't think they they have any answers right now. So, give me the Jets. Give me the Jets. Wow. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoops. I said the wrong thing. I said, give me the Jets. My yeah. bad. I, I meant to say, give me the Bills. Oh, give. I was about to say, what, what is going on with you? No, no, no. Give me the Bills. My apologies. I don't know what the Obviously, Taylor's thinking. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. So, no. Give me the Bills. And your team's on a bye this week. The Vikings, even though the Jets were just in London too. No, fuck you. You got to play. <laughs> no, no. There's your punishment. You got to go play. So the Rams, the Chiefs, the Dolphins, and the Vikings. So adjust your fantasy rosters accordingly. Time for us to run the go route, but play along with us go to our cbs sports pick'em league the option 2024 sign up today and see if you can take us on
Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you liked what you heard and you want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Leave us a review, rate us five stars, turn on subscription notifications, and share on social media. Tell your friends and spread the word.